In other words, the genes will have to work with the environment. What you do with the genes will determine whether or not that family history, which is passed down through the genes, is uh, leading to diabetes or not. What can we do then to mitigate this risk of diabetes? Welcome to this Spring Life and Health channel. Today we're going to continue on our series Stop Diabetes Before It Starts and we are going to focus on the risk factor which is family history. Don't get diabetes because of family history. Now before we actually go on I just want to say thank you to the new subscribers and welcome to the new subscribers as we learn how to prosper in our health. If you are new to the channel, if you are new, uh, also I encourage you to subscribe, hit the not like button, hit notification bell. So let's get to it. Why is family history important? Well, it's been known that if you, you have close relations such as your mother, your father, or your brother and sister has diabetes, you are at an increased risk of having diabetes. And this also uh, leads to the uh, implications that you may have prediabetes or you may have type 2 diabetes in the future as well as an early onset of diabetes. In other words, you would get diabetes earlier than most if your family history is uh, with diabetes. This also means that if you are a parent, you are also giving that increased risk to your children, which is, um, uh, uh, it works both ways. Either you are getting the risk increased because your parents have diabetes or your siblings have diabetes or if you have diabetes you are giving your children the same increased risk of diabetes. What makes family history important in um, diabetes? There are two ways that I'm going to hit on in terms of family history and diabetes. The first way I call the traditions or cultural. The second one is uh, genes. Genetically your parents pass down um, genes that are known to cause uh, diabetes. By traditions, what I mean is the way of life, the way your family lives. So if you are in a home where uh, you have a particular tradition which is more likely uh, increasing your risk of diabetes, then obviously just the fact that you are in that home, just the fact that you are in that family, uh, increases your risk of having diabetes or giving diabetes to your children or um, your sister or brother having it just because you all live in the same family unit and you do expose yourself together in the same risk so if that family unit has an active lifestyle then obviously diabetes may not be a risk factor over there but if you are in a family unit where most most of the time there is you are sedentary no movement no no exercise in that family you are always either sleeping um, sitting watching tv watching movies eating you know that particular there is no active lifestyle in that family then obviously the children they are learning the same and so they may also inherit diabetes from the same lifestyle that your family unit has so that is one that's the tradition the other tradition is the the diet if the family has a particular diet which increases the risk of diabetes then since the same family is eating the same diet all the time you can also anticipate that if one has the disease most likely the others in the family may also have uh, diabetes so diet the traditional diets that we eat certain um, cultures certain uh, traditions um, have an increased risk of diabetes because of their particular use of high carbohydrates uh, carbohydrates or even in some in some homes or some family units there's a high use of alcohol which increases diabetes so if alcohol drinking is something that a family does all the time then obviously members of a family children and old siblings and parents alike may eventually get diabetes because of that particular lifestyle that they have in the family as well as um, weight if a family has uh, problems with weight, uh, weight gain, obesity, then obviously that increase, increases the risk of diabetes in the family as a whole. So uh, it could be from the parents initially, but then as time goes on, the children may also have diabetes just because for that particular family, 
weight gain or obesity is a common threat that can be traced from parents to that could also be somewhat um, uh, attributed to the genes all right but I'm talking about just a broad traditional view of family you can also think about other family practices that increases the family's risk of diabetes so that uh, initially the older ones will get it but, but subsequently the children may also get it before we go and talk about how to stop these risks in the family we'll talk about the gene portion so in, in the family history risk of diabetes we also know that there are genes that are passed on from uh, generation to the other so parents may pass down the di uh, type 2 diabetes genes to their children so that if the parent had diabetes then uh, the children are susceptible or are at an increased risk of diabetes and some of the genes that we know about that are passed on to cause diabetes include the TCF7L2 gene which affects uh, insulin secretion and glucose uh, production there's also a gene called ABCC8 which also helps regulate insulin uh, there's another gene called GLUT2 which helps move glucose into the pancreas GCGR which is a gene that regulates glucagon which is a hormone in the body which involves glucose regulation these genes are passed down but as I if you didn't watch our last video she mentioned an interesting thing she said that even though genes may be passed down they are kind of like loading a gun uh, diabetes won't show up until there's a trigger so if you have the genes it's not automatic that you're going to get diabetes but if you pull the trigger which basically means that if you don't take care of yourself then obviously that risk may lead into a full-blown disease which is diabetes uh, in type 1 diabetes to similar things okay uh, people uh, pass down their genes to their children who eventually get diabetes in other words the genes will have to work with the environment what you do with the genes will determine whether or not that family history which is passed down through the genes is uh, leading to diabetes or not what can we do then to mitigate this risk of diabetes um, the first one is we got to try and reverse pre-diabetes reverse pre-diabetes pre-diabetes is a condition that precedes a full-blown type 2 diabetes so if we can reverse it if you already have pre-diabetes you know your parents have diabetes your sister or your brother has diabetes your uh, your father had diabetes your mom had diabetes or has diabetes then if you are diagnosed with pre-diabetes the first key is to watch out and we have a video um, in our channel about pre-diabetes and what to do to reverse pre-diabetes you can look up and check it out uh, the other thing to do is to delay to delay the onset of type 2 diabetes by taking certain actions that we have already uh, alluded to we can even stop or reverse type 2 diabetes in its tracks we can stop it now how do we achieve these things through diet healthy weight in diet you eat greens and you know low carbs and also less eat less frequently again in our last video we talked about that fasting intermittent fasting avoiding snacks when necessary and stuff like that that will help you in your diet to reduce your chance of getting diabetes and the other way is also weight management healthy weight management being conscious of your weight and then one that i haven't mentioned before is a disease surveillance in other words be on the lookout to make sure that you are not already pre-diabetic or you are not diabetic uh, making frequent visits to your doctor to make sure letting them know of your family history and having screen, be uh, frequent screening so that if there is anything uh, in the background that is leading to, to diabetes at least you can catch it early enough and prevent it from getting full blown and the other thing is actually home testing you can yourself purchase uh, di um, in-home blood glucose monitors that you can check maybe once a day uh, if, especially if you are high up in age around 40 45 50 and you have that family history you can just do that by yourself um, I have actually linked some products that you can buy through our channel. Just go to the um, uh, description uh, portion and you can look up those and see 
uh, if you want to keep one home. This is not a complete uh, diagnosis here. It's just a disease surveillance. You're just trying to uh, uh, be on the lookout to see if something is going on. The other thing is to exercise and be have an active lifestyle so that your muscles can pick up all the glucose that you, you, you take and also have an active lifestyle overall. The sedentary lifestyle may not be something you want to indulge in because you have a family history of diabetes. Also, if you are somebody who drinks alcohol, uh, this will be a good time to advise yourself to stop alcohol or at least cut back as much as possible so that that increased risk of diabetes due to your family history will be reduced. Traditions, lifestyle modifications, things that you know that we have mentioned in our channel that tells you that you are at risk of diabetes in the family you can exempt yourself and if you do that yeah your family has ensured that your genes do not necessarily express uh, diabetes even though you may carry the genes for type 2 diabetes all right beloved i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as you're so prosperous